Hey everybody, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today we're diving deep into some important updates from the SBA. And I'm here to, you know, I just wanted to make it cl uh, crystal clear for everybody, you know, especially since we're doing a lot of SBA loans now, uh, you know, um, the micro, the express along with the 7A, um, really popular product. The approvals actually have gone up way, you know, a, a lot more than what they were, let's say a year ago. Um, now, if you're a real detailed orientated person, Go ahead and check out our website, www.smallbusinesslendingsource.com. I did a full blog post and there's actually um, that you can actually read on what's going on with the EIDL. And there's a link to the SBA website. So if you need to apply for a hardship, um, you can do so or potentially even have the loan forgiven. So let's chat about the EIDL loans. So, um, you know, there were the financial boosts given to businesses during the pandemics, you know, during those challenging times. Uh, but here's the deal. You know, a significant amount of that money has, you know, hasn't been returned yet. Um, think of it like a supplier delivering 10 shipments to a store, but only get paid for getting paid for eight. So that's basically what's going on with that right now. Uh, but, you know, the SBA isn't just standing by. They've actually introduced the hardship accommodation plan, which which is the link that I spoke of on the article. You know, it's kind of like when a business asks for an extension on their rent, you know, because times are tough. You know, it's a breather for businesses that, you know, really need more time to repay. Uh, but, you know, if you borrowed a significant amount, uh, I believe it's over 200000 you got to jump through some extra steps and you might need to have a chat with the SBA. You know, worst thing you can do is just, you know, ignore it. So um, there's also some buzz around whether or not, you know, all businesses that got the loans were generally in need. Now the SBA is now double checking to ensure everything's, you know, um, you know, everything's, uh, you know, on the up and up, you know, we've seen what's going on with the ERTC, the PPP, you know, obviously I'm sure it's the same thing with the EID, EIDL. So the burning question is, did the SBA play their cards right? Or are we seeing some slip ups? Uh, we're keeping an eye on it uh, and we'll keep you updated since we're doing a lot of uh, SBA loans, you know, currently. Um, so I just wanted to thank you for turning in. Uh, if you found this rundown useful, please, you know, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Um, I'll go ahead and catch you on the next video. All right, and I'll have the actual link uh, to our website to that uh, to the blog post. So if you do need help with your EIDL, you know, feel free to reach out if you have any questions or click on that link, it'll take you direct, directly to the site so you can check out the blog and click on that link uh, directly to the SBA. Have a good day.